Hey guys, here bringing you a deck profile of the deck that I just ran today at the tournament. I played 13 games, which is 6 rounds. I only lost one game. I got a horrible hand and, you know, I'll upload those videos later. And I was playing against agents and uh, I'll show you that later, like I said. <clears throat> um, the reason I'm on my phone instead of my high definition camera is I got an iPhone 4S, which does shoot in 1080p, so hopefully it'll be decent. Sorry for the low lighting here. Um... These sleeves are really slippery, so this deck just might slide all over the place. Um, this is a, you know, as the title says, Rabbit Tour Guide Craziness. Um, so it runs the uh, BLS, Gores and Trag. It's got to run those. Uh, somebody said I should run Cyber Dragons. May think about it, but for now, two Thunder Kings. Three of the Saber Swords, three of the Cabazools, which of course, you know, you're dumb not to do that. Um, three tour guides, Sangin, so, um, you know, I really shouldn't have to explain that. <laughs> three rabbits, and two veilers. The veilers saved me many times against agents. The first turn, they summon their earth, and I just negate it, and it just slows them down enough for me to, to plus. Okay, let me just grab this stuff up real quick. And, um, like I said, it's not perfect. I did, I built this on Friday, and from what I've heard today, that these decks are topping at the YCS Kansas City. So, um, if you got the money, which, you know, you shouldn't be that hard. I know Rabbit's a secret. It's not hard to pull, guys. It's really not. Uh, we had two boxes open the day at my tournament, and both were Rabbits. Okay, so there's your staples here. Everybody runs those five cards, six cards, depending on how you want to build it. Some people don't run three MSTs, but uh, three MSTs in this deck was amazing. Uh, three Pot of Duality, of course. I know people are like, hey, you got a special summon every turn. No. No, you got 1,900 normal monster beaters you can run, and they do great. I wish I could run three Avarice and <laughs> just run one. I'm trying out Mind Control. It was not amazing like I was hoping it would be because I don't have any tuners, but most of the time I try to steal their stuff and exceed with it. So, And, of course, three Sarko. Um, BLS, pick Avarice. I need to pick Avarice more often. Most of the time I choose with uh, Sarko, I choose Tour Guide and Rabbit, which you'll see in the duels. I'll try to get those up as soon as possible. They will take a while, though, guys. They'll take probably a few days. Um, so please be patient. And um, three is amazing. You know, you could always take one out when you side deck, and I did do that, and it hurt me actually most of the time. My control, I might put Book of Moon in. So think about that, guys, when you're building yours. And you know, go from there. I really, really strongly like the three MSTs because all you need is one turn to go off. You don't need to set up for a bunch of turns. Um, you can, but whatever. Um, it runs a lot of traps, which I love. It runs your staple traps, your solemn brigade, and your. It doesn't run call because it just doesn't need it. And two bottomless and two deep prison. I usually don't do both of these. Actually, I usually run like compulsories. But both the these, I'm going to start running every main deck from now on. Uh, even though they can get MST and heavied, I, uh, I don't care. They're too good. When they work, they really, really work. Um, I'm going to show you my side deck. I would not recommend it. Just telling you guys right now. Here are the cards I do recommend running. Two Kaikos. I don't recommend these two cards. Because I don't get enough uh, lights in the grave. So I mean, that's why I'm thinking about the Cyber Dragon, but I just don't know. So Thunder King might be a good idea, not great. Uh, the Crows are necessary. I didn't run into Dark Worlds today, but I will. I need to probably go up to another Max C, so I'll probably take out Sorcerer for Max C. Let me try to make sure this is focused up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, debunks were essential. They won me a few games. Uh, Mind Control was amazing. Um, I wouldn't really recommend Catastrophe, but I run against some guys that play some crazy speed burn and some other stuff. So, um, you know, GB's really good. Uh, that's actually who I beat my friend, my my teammate, in the top two, but it wasn't because of that. But, you know, it was in there. And then Double Crevice. Crevice, I highly recommend. Dust Tornadoes, I highly recommend. When you're running against Dark Worlds and uh, a Dragonic, uh, you know, Dragoonity deck. Did top today, made top uh, four, I think. Four or eight. So there's my extra. 
And then I do run synchros even though I run no tuners because I do reborn. And um, I might try to fit a tuner in there. Who knows? Tri you know, the usual Trish, Scrap Dragon, Stardust, Black Rose, Brio, and Gataster. These are like, to me, the six that you always have to have. So there are those. Uh, the, the key, and I didn't bring out any of them. <laughs> you don't need any of them. So I'll probably up up the uh, Utopia to two. Uh, triple Logia, which won me every single game. I trip, I double Logia'd many times, even though one time I accidentally uh, brought out Rescue Rabbit twice in a turn. I shouldn't have done that, but I would have won either way. I run one Dalka, even though a lot of people don't. Um, to negate Rikos and negate some stuff. And not waste my Logia for the, the Mirror Force and Dark Hole, which when you watch the duels, you'll see Logia got Dark Hole, I think, five times a day. One Roach. Um, some people said wind up Zen Mains, but probably not. And then Leviathan, Double Levier, which happens all the time. And the Gorse Token. So there's the lineup, guys. And let me know what you guys think.